Uh, guys, what in the heck is Tilly doing over there? <laughs> I think Ringo's gotten the best of her a few times. Ringo, whenever they are fighting over food, Ringo just obviously comes like a bull in a china shop, headbutting everybody, headbutting anybody and everybody in his path to be able to get as much food as possible during feed time. I've seen it happen with my own two eyes, Tilly eating some food and then Ringo is bullying her out of the way. So I think Tilly is taking this time. It's early in the morning. Tilly's taking time to practice her headbutting skills, trying to increase her power, sharpening her horns with the tree, sharpening her iron as they would say. She's preparing. So this is training camp for goats. She's getting ready honing her skills, perfecting her craft, so that next time that Ringo tries to come up and bully her out of the way, it won't be so easy. I'm trying to practice hooking her horns around limbs. She's acting really aggressive right now. <laughs> Look at her go, guys. Being ultra mega aggressive. Dang, Tilly, this is not like you. Hey, whoa, me? Whoa, what did I do to you? Hey, stop it. Tilly, stop it. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself so far? Oh We're just getting started. All right, guys, so today, Megan and her family are here, and Megan's mom wants to do lawn mowing. I know what y'all are gonna say. Ellie, you're a typical Tom Sawyer pawning off a job to somebody else to do. People say that about me enough. Maybe a little bit true, maybe not, but you know what? Megan's mom likes mowing, so who am I to stop her to have too much pride and say no? So, I have a rider zero turn. This is a little different. Hope I don't get buffed off, but where's your sense of adventure, right? Yeah. Right. Hey, if you're having fun like that, I was going to say, yeah, turn the throttle up so you can go faster. I'm not going to do this until the end, so it's not big and dark. I'm going to go up there. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's cool. You want to trade? All right, I'm fixing the board. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get on this side then. Oh yeah, she gotta turn the turn it on. There you go. Oh boy, here we go. Megan's mom is up and at him. <laughs> That's funny. Careful, Megan's mom. Can you turn that corner? Oh, yeah, she got it. Oh, yeah, she got it just fine. <laughs> All right, guys, so Megan's mom is just wrapping up. I want to ask her what she thought of this whole experience. She already has it down like a pro in one use. All right, I want you to tell me on a scale of one to 10, how fun was it to use this thing right here? Um, it's different. It's different? It's different. I'm used to sitting, turning on my music and going. This, my core is gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> so it was a workout. I mean, it's cool. I just gotta get comfortable. But it's a great way to stay in shape though. It oh, turns. You're not lying between my legs and my core is going to be really sore tomorrow. But <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to drive the big one next. Do you, so do you think it's more practical than the other one or do you prefer the other one? If you had to have one going forward, would you do a standing mower or your traditional sitting one? Because I'm old and fat, I would probably sit. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's got a lot of power to it. And I didn't even, I only had it like halfway. So does it cut more efficiently than the other one? Like with well, its max? It's, it's a big, a big machine. Play. Yeah. It, it has a big deck on it. So, I mean, it mowed really fast compared to what, I think I only have a 42 inch deck, but I only have two acres. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't need. Most. You'd be done in four minutes with this thing. Maybe on your little one. <laughs> but no, it's cool. I just got a little scared because I don't want to throw rocks anywhere. And there's little rocks in places. Yeah. So I get worried about that. Happens occasionally, just as long as there's nobody to yeah. your right. But once you 
once you learn what you're mowing and where high spots are and low spots are, you can just zip through hmm. it. It's cool. It was totally different. Well, that's cool. I think the viewers could see you having a blast, kind of giddy as you were riding it. I know, I thought... Janice, be jelly, baby. Jelly <laughs> Janice. <laughs> She's my lawn mowing man. Yeah, Janice is a viewer. Uh, how she re are y'all related or just uh, friends? She's a family friend, but she's still Aunt Janice. Oh, uh, I feel you. So, yeah. Aunt Janice watches the video, so she'll be seeing this, yes. and she'll be heck jealous. heck and jealous, as they would say. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, what the heck is this cat doing? She's laying like some sort of princess posing for a portrait. The her legs crisscross applesauce. Laying down like like she's a queen or something, being painted in the Victorian era, the 1500s, posing for a painting. Our children are drinking out of the dog water, the literal dog water. Lovely, you're crawling around like Jabba the Hutt. You're not obese. Your belly's getting big, but you're not obese like Jabba the Hutt. She's crawling around like she can't walk, like she can't get up. Like a snail. She's like a slug. What's she doing? Pretty kitty, what are you doing? All right, guys. Really quickly, I want to make a really quick uh, disclaimer. What you're about to see is not for the faint of heart. If you're squeamish, if you don't like blood, or if you're a sensitive viewer, then I would either click off the video right now or... I would just skip forward to a different part of the video. There will be more clips later that are usual tame and soft and, you know, pleasant to watch. But this right here is not pleasant to look at. Basically, what happened is there was a guinea that Megan caught and it had string wrapped around its leg. And the string was wrapped around so tightly that it had cut off circulation. And it was actually a very bloody wound. Um, we took it to Pawpaw. Papa helped us get the string out and he told us that there's a chance that it could regain circulation and the leg might regain use or it might be too far gone that it'll just be a dead limb that will eventually fall off. But either way, the guinea's okay. He can hop around fine. He's actually been doing really good hopping around on one leg. Dustin has a three-legged dog, so I suppose it'd be kind of like that. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad joke. But in any case, um, no, I, I think it's all good and it's probably that dang Mikey, to be honest with you. Y'all remember Mikey from a few years ago on my videos? That dumb guinea that kept getting stuck in the fence. He couldn't figure his way out and all the other guineas got out. That was from my clips of probably a year ago or more. And so <laughs> it's pr probably Mikey, if I had to guess who it was. Either way, we'll probably call him Mikey just for just just because, you know. Mikey the dumb guinea. <laughs> and no, we'll definitely be a lot more cognizant and a lot more aware of string around the area we'll try to be a little more focused on making sure that there's no string that animals can get into because that was not good for him but in any case here's the clips if y'all want to see it bubby tell oh my bubby what's going on okay. i just heard my fiance scream and she came running over here with this guinea so i've been trying to catch this guinea for weeks now he's had some string or something um around his foot and we thought like he's getting around just fine like hopping but it's sad i haven't been able to catch him i can't do anything about it you know and they're too fast they're the they're probably the hardest to catch hard, harder than even chickens or ducks no he's bleeding oh no i i don't i don't know what to do oh, oh my goodness poor thing it's it's i don't know what to do i can get the string off and as soon as I touched his leg, I was like, I'm scared, it's Listen dead. Listen to me, though. You guys, both of y'all. Things like this happen on the farm, okay? So you're saying it's just a part of farm life? It's part of farm life. You'll have issues like this off and on. Stay on the farm. I'm proud that Megan caught him at all. I think that's why he started bleeding. He hasn't been bleeding, but he, like, struggled when I caught him. Yeah. So what you do? What is that? It's a string. He may lose his leg. He may not. He well, he's not, not going to let me catch him again. It's okay. You turn him loose. If you lose his leg, he'll still live. He's bleeding all over the way. Put him out in the yard. Uh-oh. There he goes, hopping. 
He's doing pretty dang good, actually, yeah, for yeah, considering the circumstances. He's doing pretty dang good. Uh, I've seen him before. That broke a leg. It was almost off. Broke the bone off. Yeah. Legs be dangling. Get to just cut it off and let him go. There's nothing you can do about it. But they'll live. They tough. So if that leg dies, is it just going to stay there dead, or will it fall It'll off? It'll fall off. Okay. You ain't got to worry with him. Okay. Well. I just wanted to get it. He always looks like he's in pain. He looks much better hopping already. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. Yes. You live on a farm, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. Hey, guys, if you live on a farm long enough, you'll be doing all kinds of surgeries and stuff on your own. <laughs> you get a good knife, a good pair of scissors. <laughs> Papa saves the day again, like always. Well, no, I mean, there's, there's not a lot you can do. Uh, if there's still blood, but which there's still blood down there in his in his foot, so it's still getting blood down there. It, it may still heal up and go away. If it don't, it's just not. He'll lose that part, but he'll be okay. There's nothing you do about it. He'll still live. He'll still hang with his friends. He'll be fine, basically. He'll still hang with his friends. There we go. He'll keep up with them. <laughs> That's good. He'll be like Dustin's little three-legged dog. He oh. Down there. oh yeah, like Dustin's three-legged dog. Yeah. Speaking of which, here come his friends now. Time for me to turn the video off. His, his friends are unhappy with us. Oh, they're happy with us. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Papa. Guys, do y'all see that cat right there? The gray looking one? I don't know if y'all remember him. I've made one video showing him in the past before. In all the three years I've done YouTube, he's been in one single video of mine out of probably a thousand or so. So if you happen to remember the video that he was in, then you are a genius. You have a really good eye. But for most of you that probably don't know who that is, that is actually Nikki Bella's father, believe it or not. I don't know if y'all can tell, but he actually looks really similar to Nikki Bella. Has the exact same color the exact same pattern nikki bella is also gray with white spot in the exact same area in the middle of the chest he's just a little bit fatter than her he's just a fat nikki bella it's a funny story actually for those y'all that remember this in that video that i was talking about i showed up to my dad's house i didn't live here at the time so i showed up one weekend and I'd been used to seeing Nikki Bella greet me every time I would come over because she was just hanging out. You know, like the usual, just typical cat hanging around the farm. And whenever she came up to me, I was like, oh my goodness, Nikki Bella, what happened to you? I thought that she had become like morbidly obese in the week that I wasn't there. <laughs> just picture one of your beloved pets just, you know, looking a certain way. You see her a thousand times. Then the next time you come and visit her, they are like inflated like a balloon. Y'all tell me that wouldn't blow your minds and kind of freak you out a little bit as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>